This time of year, Delaware beaches would be packed with surf anglers. But since they're shut down, we're not the only ones missing some of our favorite tournaments. I'm missing the May the Fish Be With You surf fishing tournament. We moved it to May 30th, but I don't even think that's going to happen. We had to move the Delmarva Outdoors Expo to September. Um, every event or anything that's been going on is they're just they're all just canceled. Oh, last year's May the Fish Be With You, we had 150 people fish and we had a whole bunch of people come out. It was fun. Not going to be able to do it this year if, if we can pull it off at the end of May, but I don't know. I mean, half the people that fish in some of these tournaments aren't from Delaware. They're from out of the state and they can't even come here right now. I mean, they can, but they have to quarantine for 14 days and that's just not possible. Not for a weekend trip. What a difference a year makes. Last year's May the Fish Be With You tournament was a big hit and a heck of a lot of fun. There are just over 100 anglers participating today, spread out between 3R's Beach and the life-saving station north of the inlet. Hey, two-time. Along the way, we'll check in with two-time tournament winner, Stefan Talabisco. I'd like to be called. Am I getting videoed? Hey, what's up, Chuck? Yeah, of course you're getting videoed. I'd like to be called the two-time DSF surf fishing champion, also pro staff for DS Custom Tackles. And how are we doing today? Zero zilch, nothing. <laughs> but take heart, surf anglers. You can still drive out onto Delaware's beaches if you're fishing for sustenance, and there are restrictions. Despite everything going on, we're at least able to fish. <clears throat> I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people, but I've been on the beach this morning and there's, from here you can count them, there's six vehicles on four miles of beach. So right now we have limited or restricted on our uh, drive on beach fishing. You're allowed two people per vehicle. They both have to be from the same household and they both have to fish and that's it. Can't take more than two people. Um, no cornhole, volleyball and all that. You're going out there to fish. You have to fish. People have to and not only actively fish, but actually fish. All the drive-on beaches are open, except some of the accesses aren't open. So like Conquest and Key Box are closed, but Faithful Stewards open so you can drive on there and access the whole beach. So we're out fishing for food and some relaxation and to get away from the crazy. I mean, it's literally the one place you can go where there's, there's, there's nobody around. Social fish, fish dancing, fish dancing. So what are you seeing out there, Rich? There's short striped bass, skates, and dogfish for right now. There was a lot of short bass in the inland bays and all that. We're catching them in the surf. Be nice to see some migratory bass. That might happen. Everybody right now is waiting for drum and bluefish. Drum have slowly showed up, like a couple have been caught in the last week or so, but that's two fish for 13 miles of beach, so don't get excited. And the bluefish haven't shown up yet, but that could be any day now, or they might not show up in the surf this year. There's that possibility as well. Perhaps surf anglers are best suited to this new reality because they are natural social distancers to begin with. Well, we basically, we're self-contained units. I mean, everything I need is in that truck. I can stop for gas, get in the truck, go to the beach, air down, drive out in the beach, open up my truck, get everything I need to fish, fish, do my thing, hang out, get back in the truck, drive to the air pumps, air up, and drive home. Never be around a soul. So we, that's, that's one of the beauties of it. We're, we're able to go out there and, and really socially distance. We don't want to be near anybody anyway. When we were at the south end of the Indian River Inlet over the past weekend, we did see some folks enjoying a beautiful day. But of course, not as many as we'd normally see. You know, we can, there's certain areas you can't, you can't walk onto a beach and fish, so we can't do that. Um, there's places you can't use, period. Um, it's, it's just, it's different, it's weird. It's really weird to drive through Route 1, see every outlet closed, no cars anywhere, and then you get down here and there's, you know, X amount of people in a parking lot. It, it's, it's like the winter time in the spring, even, even quieter than that. I mean, the outlet's not open, that's, that's kind of creepy. Creepy it is, but we'd like to remind folks that this won't last forever. I just, you know, get outside and get some fishing in, get some air, you know, enjoy yourself and just try and relax. Calm down, eventually this will all kind of blow over, so to speak, it's just, you've, you've got to let it go through the cycle that it's gonna go through, and we're gonna go right through with it.